Theorists claim that our planet has been visited by aliens in the past. They point to things like the pyramids and giant structures as proof. When talking about the subject, it's good to keep an open mind, but it's equally important to try and come to a logical answer. Unidentified flying objects have been witnessed for many years, and although many of these sightings can be explained, there are some that have remained unsolved. This doesn't prove the existence of aliens, it just means we can't identify that craft at the time. What is strange though is when you see these objects in paintings and cave art, as these would have been created long before flight. Another thing theorists believe in is the fact that these crafts have landed, and their occupants have interacted with humans. One example that can be used is abductions. This leads us on to this story. We have made many discoveries in recent years, and thanks to modern medicine we know that human blood has been put into four different types. A, B, A, B and O. The difference is the amount of protein in the blood. However, there is a blood type called RH negative, and what's interesting about this one is it doesn't have any proteins in it. Since being announced, there have been many theories as to why there's a protein deficiency. Some of the more out there theories include that people with RH negative blood are alien. If this were true, it would mean that around 15% of the people on Earth may have come from a different planet. Interestingly, there are some characteristics that only occur in people who have this blood. For example, those with RH negative blood are limited when it comes to receiving blood, as they can only have this blood type. Interestingly, many people who have this come from England. One question that remains though is where did this bloodline come from? Scientists have looked into it and suggested it could have come from a tribe over 35,000 years ago. This tribe was known to inhabit territories in Europe. Other characteristics that are common include the following. Having a body temperature that is lower than the average person. Red hair, green or blue eyes and sensitive to high temperatures. Having paler skin than the average person and also being more physically aware. People believe this bloodline could have been genetically created by a superior race, and that it could be the ultimate bloodline. However, more research is needed until a final answer can be given. Over the years, there have been many strange artifacts that have been found. One example of this is in 1821, a bizarre stone was discovered. Tillich's philosophical magazine did a story on the item. It was David Virtue who made the discovery while working on a large chunk of rock that had come from 22 feet below the surface. When breaking the rock apart, he found a lizard embedded in the stone. It was coiled up in a round cavity of its own form, being an exact impression of the animal. What's even more bizarre is the fact that after only a few minutes of being exposed to the air, the creature came to life. This also happened with other creatures such as toads. The question here is how did the lizard get trapped 22 feet under the ground, inside a stone and manage to survive? These mysteries have come to be known as out of place artifacts. This term is normally applied to an object that baffles researchers to how it came to be. Over the years there have been many of these artifacts that have been discovered. What's interesting is that they're not all found in one place, they are scattered across the entire planet. One of these mysterious artifacts is the geode oddity. In 1961, three people were searching for geodes in California. A member of the group picked up a geode, however they said that something seemed off about it. After taking it back to their shop, they decided to cut through it with a diamond saw blade. To their surprise, inside the rock was what appeared to be a spark plug. This of course didn't make any sense. How could a geode house a spark plug? What adds to this mystery is the supposed age of the geode. It's estimated the rock is over 500,000 years old. This is hundreds of thousands of years before this type of device was created. Not much spotlight has been given to this artifact, and over the years many theories have been put forward. Some have suggested that this is ancient technology, and that we were handed down devices like this by a more intelligent race. Geologists did examine the fossils around the device, and dated the device at 500,000 years old. One of the people who found the object has said that they think our understanding of human history is incorrect. However, recent studies have suggested this strange artifact is actually a spark plug from the 1920s. How it got inside the geode is anyone's guess. 
Over the years, there have been many strange ocean discoveries. The oceans cover a vast amount of the planet. Scientists believe it's more than 71%. A massive 97% of the Earth's water can be found in our oceans, so it's no surprise that strange things have been discovered. One such discovery is that of strange stones. They can be found scattered everywhere along the ocean floor. These are clusters of metal lumps and they were discovered by a German research ship. Just a couple of hundred miles east of Barbados, the mesh net captured these metal balls instead of usual marine life. Manganese balls have been found in every single ocean, but they are mostly found in the Pacific Ocean. Some of the largest balls that have been found could be up to 10 million years old. Scientists believe the nodules grow extremely slowly, approximately one centimeter in one million years. We still have no idea where these manganese balls originated from, but we hope they could provide us a record of past climate changes. So what do you guys make of this discovery? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. These incredible discoveries give us an idea of what life could have been like many years ago. Another interesting discovery is that of a small pill. This discovery of a medicine pill was found in a 2000 year old shipping vessel, and this has helped scientists to understand what the ancient Romans used as their medicine. The ancient shipwreck was once excavated by a group of archaeologists throughout the 1980s, and some interesting cargo was discovered. Lamps glass bowls, jugs made out of bronze, vessels filled with wine and a medicine chest that contained various surgery tools, together with five medicine pills. The vessels were very neatly sealed which kept the pills completely dry. The scientific results showed the pills contained zinc compounds, iron oxide beeswax, starch and other materials that came from plants. According to the scientists, the pills were once used as some type of eye medicine back in the days. It seems like we knew about pills and chemicals a long time before we thought it was even possible. Every year we discover around 2,000 new marine species. This tells us there is still so much more to learn about our oceans. If we was able to get to the bottom of the ocean, it would give us an incredible sight into life many years ago. However, researchers have come forward and said that 80 to 85% of our ocean is unmapped, and it's anyone's guess as to what we will discover in the future. Dolphins are perhaps one of the most well-known marine mammals in the world. They are part of the cetacean family along with whales and porpoises. These majestic creatures vary in size from 3 up to 30 feet, and they can also weigh up to 9 tons. The orca or killer whales is known as part of the dolphin family despite being called a whale. These creatures are truly the apex predators of the ocean and have no natural predators. The only threat they have comes from humans. These giants will feed on almost anything. Their diet includes squid, octopus, seabirds, sea turtles, seals, rays, and even large sharks. Scientists have discovered 44 species of dolphins. This includes river dolphins. Recently, scientists captured dolphins doing something bizarre on film. Marine biologists used a remote-controlled camera disguised as a sea turtle to get close to the dolphins, and while filming, they watched the young dolphins interact with pufferfish. The scientists noticed they would hold the fish in their mouth and bob up and down. It was then the scientists realized the dolphins were using the puffer fish to get a natural high. This toxin can be fatal, and there have been cases of humans passing away from this tetrotoxin. What the researchers picked up on though was the dolphins were passing the puffer fish around, and they'd figured out a way of getting the puffer fish to release only a small amount of toxin. After the dolphins had gently chewed the puffer fish, they then started to enter a trance. Once one dolphin had done it, the others would join in the fun. Zoologist Rob Pilly said the following about the encounter. They began acting strange, hanging around with their noses at the surface as if fascinated by their own reflection. It reminded us of that craze a few years ago when people started licking toes to get a buzz, especially the way they hung there in the days afterwards. It was the most extraordinary thing to see. The scientists have said this actually shows how intelligent these creatures are, because they're fully aware of the dangers but do it in such a small amount that it's not fatal. It's no secret that dolphins are intelligent. They have even been able to communicate with humans. One dolphin who was kept inside a research tank was fed when she brought her trainer litter. 
one piece of litter would earn her one fish. So she figured out that multiple pieces of litter would get her more fish. What she would do is find pieces of paper and start to rip them apart. She did this because she knew that she would get more food. It's just one of the many things that dolphins have been able to learn. Albert Einstein is a German-born physicist who is perhaps best known for the general theory of relativity. In 1921, he won the Nobel Prize for Physics, and in the following years he decided to travel to the US. Einstein also produced works which had a big effect on atomic energy. In his later years Einstein focused on unified field theory. Today the scientific community recognises Einstein as one of the most influential physicists of the 20th century. Einstein was someone who'd realised the problems of physics, and he was someone who wasn't afraid to question them. When he put forward the general theory of relativity, it was the first major theory since Newton's. It made a huge impact around the world, with many news outlets saying it was the turnaround the world needed. One thing that people are not aware of is that during the late 1930s, Einstein's theories helped to create the atomic bomb. In 1939, Einstein actually wrote to President Franklin D. Roosevelt advising him to approve funding for the development of uranium. However, it's important to point out that Einstein himself was never asked to participate in the resulting Manhattan Project. When he did find out what the project was going to be used for, Einstein did become an advocate for nuclear disarmament. He formed the Emergency Committee of Atomic Scientists, and showed his opposition to the hydrogen bomb. Einstein was known for his free thinking, and taking on a range of humanitarian and global issues. An interesting story about Einstein is that one day a messenger boy asked him an interesting question, and that was, what's the key to happiness? Einstein put pen to paper and it said the following, A calm and modest life brings more happiness than the pursuit of success combined with constant restlessness. It's a simple but powerful message. Many have used this to help them with their current situations, and you can apply this message to many things in life. Sometimes we stress too much about the small things, when in reality they're not a big deal. Scientists and researchers have gone forward over the years and said that stress is very bad for overall health. Emotional stress that stays around for weeks or months can weaken the immune system, and can cause high blood pressure, fatigue, depression, anxiety and even heart disease. This note was eventually sold for over $1.5 million, and ironically, some have said that you could say you can put a price on happiness. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.